and gentlemen, welcome back. Man, I have really put my foot in my mouth on this one. So, I have some wood. Yes, yeah, some wood back there on the trailer. So, this project is one of those where you could buy a lot of different products on the market. But the problem is, is all these playhouses and play sets are really, really cheap built. Not cheap priced, but cheap built. And so I figured if we're going to do this, might as well do it right. Use the right stuff to begin with. Use some good heavy stuff and not have to worry about this thing until, well, she's way outgrown it. At least that's the hope and plan. Not saying I know exactly what I'm doing. All right, so this is pretty much the start of my material list. Nowhere near enough to get this thing done, but it's enough to get my bases going. All right, so I'm gonna try to put up a terrible hand sketch somewhere on the screen here, but to give you an idea what we're doing here, we're actually gonna build a six by six platform house that's gonna have a five foot base level for a small slide. Well, it's it's, it's the biggest you could find. It's like a straight slide off like Amazon. So we're gonna get that. We're gonna build it five foot. Uh, the overall thing is gonna be 10 foot to the eave height. So I'm gonna have a, you know, probably a 45 degree pitched roof, something like that. But we're gonna have a six by six base there. Then we're gonna have a walkway that goes across to another four by four platform that is gonna go up to seven foot. And that platform is gonna have a twisty, whatever you call it, spiral slide. So we're gonna do one of those over there. And under that walkway, we're gonna put a, haven't decided yet what kind of swings we're gonna do there, but that's gonna be the adult swings. Like probably maybe just a big bench swing or maybe do some hammock swings. Kind of curious on your thoughts on that. And then the other side, so on the other side of it, we're going to have the kids swings, which we're going to have. She's not quite two. She'll, this is for her second birthday, which is only a few weeks away. So we'll have her baby swing. We'll have a regular swing. We'll probably do one of those uh, disc swings on that end. And we may do something else, but we're probably just going to stick with that for now. So let me get this stuff unloaded and we'll get to going. All right. So the goal of this thing, actually, I've decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring two of... The 4x4 is in, I'm gonna build a side, move it out of the way, bring in the other two, build that side, and then I'll join those two together. So everything I'm using, the corner posts are 4x4s. I went with 10 footers all the way around. We've got some 2x6s that are gonna be the floor joist. I really don't think I need much bigger with being only 6x6. Six six. Um, we're gonna do floor joist, and then we're gonna have some rim boards that are two by fours around the top and bottom one of them there are a couple that are going to be two by sixes but all right so for the fastening joints i'm actually going to use these rugged structural screws by grk they're five sixteenths by four I have a bunch of these left over and what i'm going to do is i'm going to this i'm going to start with a small platform which is going to be the four by four so i'm going to get my eight footers out i'm going to go ahead and cut me two by four two by four and then a two by six i'm going to place it seven foot to the top just to, well i guess technically 83 inches to the top of the board from the bottom uh, i'll show you all that here in a minute but first let me get the uh pieces cut down of the size so we'll get that going first So we got our pieces cut and I'm just gonna lay them on the ground. So it doesn't really matter which I designate bottom or top. I'm just gonna put one screw in each corner to start with on these two top boards, square everything up, run my second screw in it. And then I'm gonna come back and mark for this floor height. So 
So most of these turbo slides are either five foot or seven foot. We wanted this one to be taller, so we're gonna get a seven foot one. That's supposed to be finished floor height. You got like some tolerance in there. So we're gonna make this 83 inches from the bottom up. Time to put my deck boards on. Should be pretty close to what we need. So let's get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and knock out doing this other side real quick, do the same process. Then I wanna jump to showing you guys how to cross these over together. Some of you may run into this. Uh, let me get you pan down so I can show you. So, right here, I've got a little bit of a gap here. I wanna get this thing pulled out to the right dimension. All I'm gonna do, whoopsie, is I'm going to put a screw right about here. Now, this is a little bit of, big of a screw. And I'm gonna grab, and I don't know if you can tell that, but I can pull it to where I need it, hold it there, and run my screw into place. Back this back out, and now we're good and flush. All right, so we got both of these halves done. We just now got to put our joining piece in between there. So one side of this, I'm going to leave open because that's going to be the walkway coming through. The other side is the one that I'm going to, we're going to completely enclose, put a handrail all the way around it or whatever we're going to do. Still haven't finished deciding that yet. So I'm going to stand this piece up and we'll get to going on the next part. All right, so what I've got cut real quick is I've got two two by sixes cut. I've got an eight footer and I've got a four footer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand, of course this is already standing up, stand this side up. I'm gonna go ahead and put my four footer across this area. So it's technically not gonna be four foot except for on this one, except for on the outside to outside. So I'm gonna put my four footer there and then I'm gonna put the four footer, or excuse me, the eight footer down here on the bottom. And I'm actually putting this I'll show you on the inside of the swing. I'll probably put a little clip up here on the inside towards the adult swing area just to give this thing some stability when we're swinging and also when kids are up there playing on it and vice versa. If we're both up there, you know, kids playing on it and swinging, we don't have no issue. We're going to have a brace back and make sure it's good and sturdy. Just like we did before, we're gonna cross this thing over, check our squareness, and then we'll sink these in the rest of the way. So before I try to roll this thing over, because I only have supports here, I have nothing down here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my four footers for the other side. So the other side, there's gonna be a two by six, four foot. Then we're gonna have a two by four, four foot, and another two by four, four foot down there. I'm gonna only put the two two by four, four foots in, and I'm gonna just tack them or screw them in on the top for currently. That'll just help hold it in place as I try to roll this thing over, because it's just me today. So let me do that. Now I'm really contemplating, I was going to put them on the ends, but I really don't want to put a hole there, I don't think. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just come in here on the inside, just so water doesn't get into the post. I mean, it's going to get in the post, but to maybe hopefully help it some, I think I'm just going to put a screw in it here. And I'll uh, just put a screw there, screw there, do one on each end, 
just like so roll this thing over because this is not going to be super easy by myself and i just don't want it falling apart hopefully at least that's the goal cross our fingers but i'm literally just coming over one side hopefully no issues Oh yeah, not a problem. Not yet at least. And of course, help shows up when you're almost done. Honestly, that went way better than expected. So now I'm going to take these back off and I'm going to move them to the outside, screw them in, and then I've got to cut my six two by six to put there and the, the rough framing of this one, other than the floor joist, which I still need to cut and put in, this one will be done as far as the roughing goes. So we're getting there pretty quick. All right, so we've got this put in, these put in. I've got the crosser, but I want my boards to run this direction. So I've got to put it this on this side because I'm going to have my walkway coming up through here. I want the boards to follow the same direction. So my runner's going to go here. I'm going to get this thing pulled out and stand it up out here so I can put that board in and get it out of the way to build the next one. All right, well, I'll change the plans. We're just going to stand it up in here, apparently. I was saying we're going to change the plans, stand it up in here. Whoop. It is stood up. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this cross, piece, cross support piece in here and get this thing out of the way. All right, so the main section of the seven foot little tower four by four is finished. I mean, as far as the rough framing, I do need to still go in here and put some blocking in here to be able to run the floor on and make sure we get all that tied in. But now we get to build the six by six. Let me get this thing out of the way. All right, so we got side one of the house portion done. Now this one's only gonna house a five foot slide. Well, technically a 10 foot slide, but five foot height. So our floor joist is 59 inches up from the ground. And then this will be the house portion up through here. 
Got one more side to build, but unfortunately I gotta get some more screws because we're out, pretty much. Got a few left. All right, so just got back from Lowe's, got me some screws, but here's the big kicker. Went back to the uh, markdown section and they had these hand railing. They're nice aluminum handrails. And they had three of the exact same ones and they were $14 and only 56 bucks. It's like, hey, I'll give it a, uh, you know, I'll get them. May use them, may not. So I get up there to check out and you won't believe this. This thing does not do good zooming in. Six cent. All right, the $49.99 is my screws, but that six cent, that's for all three. I paid two cent a piece. Two cent a piece for these rails. And there's a top and bottom rail in there. I mean, how the heck do you go wrong with that? What are you doing? Do you know what this is going to be? Do you know what this is going to be? Say playhouse. Say nope. Say it's going to be a birthday. That's part of it over there. Over right there. There's, your, there's the one part. That's a big one. That's the one part you got. Part, my part. There's, there's more to it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the one thinking about. It, I'm gonna go ahead and run the floor supports in here. I'm gonna put two on this one, uh, just to span the distance. I mean, we're going 24 inches on center. I know it's a little wide, but this is a playhouse, not a house.
All right, so there is the second portion started, or the main, the main portion. This will have a five foot slide, the main walkway going up. Don't know what all we're gonna do in this thing yet, but at least I got this done. So I'm really debating on going to get the plastic deck and put down, which something we just thought of is I don't know if it's adequate on 24 inch spacings. Now I've got hangers, but I'm gonna wait and make sure that I don't need to go 16 inches on center for that stuff. Um, like I said, this is a playhouse for goodness sakes. But so far I've been able to get this built, which this is a six by six, 10 foot tall main section. We have a four foot by four foot, 10 foot tall secondary section. And then I've got that little bit of wood left out on the back of the trailer, which is basically two boards. I believe I've got a 10 foot two by four and a 10 foot two by six plus a two foot drop and a four foot drop. So currently in this build where I'm at so far, I'm at $276, not including the fasteners which you might as well say 50 bucks on fasteners because I had a box, but I bought another box. So right now I'm at like 50 bucks on that. So right now I'm at what, 325, somewhere in there for what we've got. Now, it's gonna be a good bit more in it. We're gonna put a roof on this thing. I'm gonna put some trusses up there. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. So I'm gonna do this in a couple parts. Uh, this was today's main framing and I'll, you know, if anybody's interested, you know, let me know. I'll try to put some blueprints up if y'all are interested in them. Or I can send you some, give you an idea of what it actually takes to make this thing. I used all pressure treated on this thing. This is all two by six, two by four, and four by four pressure treated. Um, you know, that stuff is has come down, but it's still not expensive. Still pretty. All right. Well, that's gonna be it for this one. We're gonna come back and uh, I'm gonna try to do this as a maybe a three part series maybe four, but uh, I'm gonna try to do it better than that. So next weekend, I'm gonna try to work on getting this house portion done, um, getting the deck down, uh, getting the side panels up, stuff like that. And I'm gonna try to go ahead and get that part finished up as far as the, the decking on it. Uh, I'm going ahead and try to get the main frame portions for the walkway across there, the sky bridge. We're getting there, so we'll see you next time.